Good afternoon, this is Dr. McDaniel at GYN Corner. I'm a board certified obstetrician gynecologist in New York City and I'm bringing to you all things health related for women. Uh, thank you for joining me here today at GYN Corner. Uh, this is a part two basically because the uh, last presentation I placed yesterday uh, was about an often asked question, which is what to do about, um, I guess, uh, what do they call it? Personal or intimate feminine odor. <laughs> That's what they always say. Feminine odor, <laughs> intimate odor. So as I mentioned yesterday, the most important aspect is to differentiate between whether the odor is just a general crotch, um, pubic area, skin odor, or if it's an odor from the vaginal arena. And as I mentioned yesterday, if it's a crotch odor, then that's gonna be due to skin bacteria, uh, sweat glands, oil glands, and the hair follicles there. So if you shave or trim the hair very, very short so bacteria doesn't have a chance to build up, and if you use antibacterial soaps and antibacterial over-the-counter antibacterial ointment like polysporin or neosporin, uh, keep the area airy and cool and dry, then that will minimize, if not completely eliminate, feminine odor. Uh, if it's really a vaginal odor, then that's due to an elevated amount or high level of vaginal bacteria. And vaginal bacteria, you're not going to be able to wash that off or wash that out. It's going to need uh, a pH balancer because it's always going to be due to your a high pH in the vaginal system and your body's immune system being able to balance that. So I know a lot of, um, I guess, physicians or experts, uh, gynecologists, uh, tend to scoff or minimize the um, homeopathic options that uh, are often recommended to decrease vaginal odor but I've been practicing for almost 30 years and they work really, really well. I've had patients over the last almost, well, 28 years now who have used homeopathic uh, options and they work really well. Uh, a popular one is garlic cloves, threading a garlic clove, placing that in the vagina overnight for at least uh, five to seven nights in a row. Uh, that works really well because it's an antibacterial agent and then another over-the-counter option is Refresh refresh Gel. That works really, really well. It's a pH uh, normalizer. So it has a, it's a gel that has a very low or acidic pH. And uh, you place that overnight. They have several options, a one night and then a, like a five to seven night or several weeks in a row you can do. But if you do those pH normalizers, I found over the years that works about 50% of the time. So half of the time it works really well. Half of the time uh, women say it works while they're using the gel, but once they stop using the gel, a day or two later it seems not to work very well. Uh, another homeopathic option is tea tree oil. Tea tree oil um, on a tampon inside the container. So you soak the tampon in its container in the tea tree oil diluted with a carrier oil like um, vitamin E oil or um, melted coconut oil. Uh, those are popular ones. Uh, so then, and then you place that soaked tampon vaginally overnight, again, for several nights in a row. Uh, those tend to work really, really well. Uh, I found that placing yogurt in the vagina does absolutely nothing. I've had gazillion patients over the years uh, tell me that they place yogurt in the vagina. I don't really know how they did it. I guess they used a turkey baster or a syringe or something. That does absolutely zero. Eating lots of yogurt doesn't do anything for an immediate issue with odor. The probiotics are just not strong enough. Uh, you can take L-lysine, which is an amino acid. That takes time also. It takes several weeks, at least to several months to start to notice an improvement. So the only things that seem to work quickly will be the vaginal inserts, garlic, 
tea tree oil, refresh gel, uh, or any of those uh, pH normalizing gels, which acidify the vaginal pH. Those work really, really well. So I hope that's been helpful information on a commonly asked question about vaginal or genital odor. And uh, please hit the like button. Please hit the follow button on Facebook to let me know that you enjoy the content that I'm presenting. And uh, please place questions and give me ideas for um, information that you'd like to hear about in the future. Please check out the YouTube channel. That's also called GYN Corner. And uh, hit the subscribe button on YouTube. You'll get a heads up on what I'm presenting, when it's being presented, and listen to the podcast. Guess what? It's called GYN Corner. Uh, and please leave a review on the podcast. We're on all of the major platforms for the podcast. Leave a review and leave questions and leave topics for ideas that you'd like to hear about. Thanks again for joining me. This is Dr. McDaniel at GYN Corner. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.